In the previous lecture, we have learned about the concept of ease in, ease out, and various things. In this lecture, we will learn about the concept of shape layers and graph editors. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So as always here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, we will name it as main animation, as always width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 seconds and duration I will choose 5 seconds and background color, I will choose white color and simply hit ok, choose grid and guide option and hit title self action. Now in the toolbox over here we will get our two, uh, I mean shape layers if i click on it i'll get this five options over here so we will check it out one by one first is as always rectangle tool as you can see the shortcut key is q for all of them so if i select on it whenever i am going to select any sh shape tool we will get these two options over here one is fill and one is stroke so in the fill option as always we are free to choose any color and in the stroke we will get the color of this any stroke now suppose by holding shift I am going to create this ellipse over here so as we can see we have one rectangle with the one stroke and one fill and if I want to delete this stroke what I will do I am simply gonna click on the stroke options and I delete it and hit ok. Now again I want to add this stroke so what I will do I will go over here and I will choose anyone. Now if I want to decrease the stroke width over here, we will get the stroke width option. With the help of that, we can change the amount of stroke width. Now there is one concept called gradient. Now suppose I want to delete this stroke. Now in the if I click on this fill option, as you can see we are getting this much options over here. One is none, one is solid color, one is linear gradient and one is radial gradient. Now I am going to click on this linear gradient so as you can see we will get something like that so I will hit ok. Now I am going to click on this box so over here we are getting this gradient editor. We, here we also get these two options with the help of that we can easily switch between linear and radial gradient like that and we can adjust this over here location of this gradient. Now from this I'll select this one and I can choose the color of my gradient similarly from here I can choose color like that also I can switch to the linear gradient and radial gradient so this is the gradient option so I'll hit ok as you can see our gradient is applied now I'll delete this thing for now and I'll go to the fill and I'll choose solid color and I'll hit ok now over here I'll choose this rectangle tool again and with the help of shift I'll create one rectangle which is a proper square and as always control alt home to align the anchor point to the center now whenever we are going to create any shape layer as you can see in the he, over here we will get this shape layer and inside of that we will get this content in content we will find this rectangle one now just because this rectangle in contents we will get rectangle one if i create any another shape like ellipse by holding shift i'll create one ellipse over here as you can see in the content option we will get ellipse now again you can choose this one and press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center now if we go to the rectangle one again we will get this type of options over here we will get stroke fill one and transform rectangle one and in rectangle path one over here as you can see we will get this position option and scale option etc etc we'll also get the option for roundness so you can create the morphing on animation with the help of that which we will see in further now i'll delete both the shapes now we have seen the rectangle tool and ellipse tool and rounded ellipse is that same if i create this i'll go to the rectangle one rectangle path one we will get this roundness option over here like that as simple as that now in addition we will get this polygon tool by holding shift if we create this if i go to the polystar one 
power start path one we can easily create the amount of points that we want to create with the help of that we can create this kind of a rectangle also and we will get the other options like roundness etc etc which are quite useful to create some morphing animations as you can see in my screen if i increase and decrease the values as you can see the shape is gonna change and grab this at the center i press ctrl alt home to align the anchor point to the center and if we change this shape we'll get this kind of morphing also there are some different options for round outer radius etc etc which is the self-study portion you can simply create any shape and just you need to go inside this content go to the any option over here and check out whatever they have provided so i did this now after the polygon i will get this star tool and from the name itself it will create a start star sorry and i'll drag this at the center if i go to this polystar one polystar path one as always we will get this kind of options and again we will get this options with the help of that you can easily create any morphing animations now we will create with this shape layer we will create some kind of animations like that now i'll choose the star tool with the help of shift i'll create one star Control alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and align it vertically press s for scaling option and i'll scale it down now we will create one simple animation with the help of the shape tools now i'll go over here i'll go to the contents i'll go to the polystar and i'll go to the polystar path one now for the points i'll choose six like that as you can see in inner roundness we will get something like that so create both the inner roundness and outer roundness i'll create one keyframe on inner roundness and one keyframe on outer roundness hit u and go to around two seconds and we will increase this option and we will see what kind of animation we will get we will get something like that and if i increase the outer roundness we will get something like that and if we hit play as you can see we will get something like that or you can in decrease this outer roundness to get some different kind of animation so if you see now we will get something like that i will move this thing up to 3 seconds and we will see how does it looks I'll also do one thing, I'll select this one, I'll press R, I'll create one keyframe over here, I'll hit U to reveal all the keyframes as we have studied in our earlier videos. With the help of U, we can reveal all the keyframes and I'll go to the 3 seconds and I can rotate it like that. So if you see now, we will get this kind of animation. Now what we can do to do something unique, we can hit Ctrl D and over here i'll change the color of this one again i'll hit ctrl d and over here i am gonna change the color of this one now i'll hit u again now what i'll do i'll select those keyframes and i'll move them a little bit forward i'll select those keyframes and i'll move them a little bit over here so if we hit play now we will get this kind of animations so this is a very simple animation you can do with the properties of our shape layer. So we yep, in After Effects we have this 5 shape layers and in contents you will find so many options like that. All you need to do, you need to study it by yourself. So our shape layer concept is almost done. Now we will move to the next chapter which is our graph editor. So if you remember in the previous video we have learned about F9 is in is out time reverse etc etc now we will focus on the graph editors of them now what i did over here i'll hit ctrl n to create a new composition and i'll call it with of let's see, graph editor and i'll hit ok now i'll choose this star only and with the help of that i'll 
hold shift and i'll create this shape and i'll press ctrl alt home to align the anchor point to the center i'll press v v to select my selection tool and i'll move this over here now whenever we are going to talk about the graph we need to understand we have two type types of graphs over here but before that what we will do we will animate this thing for now i'll select this one and i'll hit ctrl d again and i'll move this thing over here now what i'll do i'll select all of them i'll press p and with the help of shift i'll also press r so i can see both position and r properties i'll create one keyframe on both of them and i'll go to around 1.20 seconds i'll move them for over here and i'll simply rotate it something like that now what we can do we can select both the keyframes and we will hit f9 to ease in ease those keyframes just like that so we'll get something like this now this this first layer is only for reference we don't need to change anything over here so what i'll do i'll remove these options remove means i unhide these options and i'll lock this layer because we are not going to change anything over here now with the help of these keyframes i am gonna explain what are the graph editors so first thing we need to do we need to select these layers and over here we will get option which is called graph editor so if i click on it i will get something like that now most of the cases uh, this graph is not like that so to reveal this what we need to do simply right click on this blank space and over here as you can see we have two types of graphs one is edit graph which looks like that and one is edit speed graph which looks like that now first we need to focus on edit value graph so value from itself it defines the value of uh, what we call your animation as you can see if I click on this position this red line denotes the X position and this Y line denotes the Y position now if you see the Y position is I mean the po this green line is straight it's not gonna change because as you can see this animation is on the X axis there is no animation in Y axis that's why this Y line which denoted by green color is not gonna change but this X position line is changed so this is the value graph now if I suppose change this thing on Y position as you can see this line changes so this Y, y line I mean the line with the green color denotes the Y position so this is the value graph now we need to focus on the speed i mean speed graph i'll go to the edit graph right click and i'll go to the edit speed graph as you can see the this lines denotes the speed of it now if i click on i'll go over here and i'll over this over here so as you can see we are getting some text over here shape layer one dot position and over here as you can see it denotes three two 732.12 pixel per second which is our speed so if just because we have hit half 9 as you can see initially this is very slow because whenever we choose f9 or something we know that initial speed of that animation is slow so as you can see this is initially 0 per second and as it goes further the speed is gonna increase so that's why my graph is also going up as you can see the initial speed is slow and at this point if I go over here this is my maximum speed that's why this graph is in parabola so if I and as the animation goes further the speed again is gonna decrease if I, you can see this the speed is going to decrease the values are also gonna decrease so that's why my graph is like that so this is just the basic explanation of graph now there is another thing we can do we can adjust this graph a little bit further now if i select this graph as you can see we are getting these two handles with the help of that what we can do we can adjust the speed of this graph now if i select this graph and with the help of shift i can move this over here and with the help of that i can move this thing over here so now 
the as you know with the help of f9 the initial animation is low now because i have changed the graph i have shifted this curve over here so initial animation it's gonna be super slow and then it will gain the maximum velocity and then again it will become a slow so now if i hit play as you can see we will get some kind of difference over here now this second one is normal f9 animation and this one is edited graph animation as you can see the difference between two and the difference is this animation is quite what we can say smoother as compared to this one this one is also smooth but this one is too much smooth and this one looks cool also so that's the role of graph editors with the help of that we can achieve some realism also that we will explain in our further tutorials so in this tutorial we have learned about the concept of shift layers with the help of these properties we can create some abstract animations like that and we have learned about the graph editors which is speedy graph and etc etc so that's it for today we will see you in the next tutorial